Thanks for checking out my pen site review and demo. Here I'm going to be highlighting some of the biggest features that they have to offer, then at the end talk about the pricing, pros and cons to help you decide if it's going to be worth using. What's great about Pensite is right off the bat, they do come with the ability to try them for free, so you can always do that by clicking the link down below in the description before making any payments. Let's dive right in and talk about what they have to offer. So when it comes to creating a link in bio page, Pensite has quite a lot of features that I think you're really going to like. Even better, creating your page and getting up and running is very easy. As you can see from the beginning, what you'd want to do is simply click on add blocks right here. And these are going to be some of the biggest things that you can do. When it comes to products, a wide variety that you can create. You have email forms, so if you want to get people on your newsletter, you can do that or maybe give them a free gift. Of course, there's going to be section, links, videos, and text. One of the biggest things that you can do is sell digital products using Pensite, so allow me to show you how that works. And this is something that I feel like Pensite does very well. Aside from the fact that you can sell digital products, ebooks, courses, and videos, they have quite a few things that you can also do in the process. One-on-one -on -one sessions, courses, memberships, group sessions, group programs, coaching bundles, and of course, video Q&As. It's really up to you. A lot of other tools I've noticed seem to have maybe one, two, or maybe three of these. Pensite definitely packs a punch when it comes to selling overall. Let's say we want to sell a digital product. It is very easy to get up and running. So as long as you can follow along the instructions on the left side of this, you're going to be able to get up and running very quickly. We have our title, the type of product that it's going to be. For this example, let's say it's an ebook. You can showcase what the actual product card looks like, whether it's compact, featured, or private. Me personally, I wouldn't do that. I want the most amount of eyeballs seeing it. We do want a button here where we can say buy now. You can change it around if you like. You can showcase the product type, letting people know it's an ebook. Obviously, we have the price. You can add an icon. And when it comes the pricing, I think it gets very special here. So of course you might want to do a single payment. Maybe you want to give away something for free. You can also do multiple installments for a payment. You can do subscription. You can even do name a fair price, which in my opinion is pretty cool. So maybe the minimum that you would want someone purchasing it for, you can even add a suggested price. So that's a great way ultimately for a lot of people to think they're getting a steal on a specific item, especially if they think that the value is so much higher. They can pick a price and as long as it meets your minimum, the sale will be made. Nevertheless, let's say we wanted to go back to single here and keep that how it is. Down below, pretty straightforward, you can upload your files. When it comes to the order success message, you can also link it there, maybe if you linked it somewhere else. And there's gonna be some other sections you can utilize like custom forms, upselling funnels, and smart actions. What's great about this is that whenever someone purchases from you, yes, you can get them on your email list, you can get them subscribed to say your buyers list. Going to add an action, clicking on the action, you probably want to subscribe them to a marketing segment, but you can also give them access to other aspects within your pen site account. Let's say we do that. We go to customers and just like that, anytime someone purchases, you have now collected the email address of your buyers. Upselling is pretty straightforward too. What you would need to do is just simply create two products, go back here, connect it, and now you have the ability to even make more money after including an upsell. It's pretty straightforward. Let's click on continue. There is also going to be the ability to utilize landing pages. So there's two ways of doing it. You can not use a landing page and literally get up and running extremely fast, or you can add that landing page, put a little bit of time into it and then get going. Let's say we wanted to start with a template. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot going on when it comes to selecting the templates and themes overall. You can change the color that it's going to be, but aside from that, everything else is going to be up to you. So when choosing use this template, Everything is going to be pretty much click on it, change it around. I'm not going to spend too much time in here. Your headline would go there, but ultimately all it's going to be is say, click on this image, change it around. You can change around the shapes. If you want a button to go somewhere else, like it's going to naturally go to the checkout page. You can do that as well. And of course, clicking here, adding some different text, what's going to be included within your digital product, changing around who you are, what you're all about. Maybe you want to remove the view profile aspect, and there's going to be the page design as well in case you want to change that around so it matches your brand. Nothing groundbreaking here, but definitely enough to help you get up and running with the landing page. And like I said previously, you could simply just not use it, bypass it completely where they click on the link in your bio and they go straight to checkout. That's going to be up to you. Whether you use a landing page or not, still getting up and running very fast here. I'm talking about lightning speed. All right, so let's say you added a digital product and it's going to be a very similar process if you're adding any other type of product. As an example, let's say we have product here and we're going to be going with, let's say, a membership in this section. 
As you can see, a lot of this is going to be the same. So you're gonna be following in similar steps when it comes to creating a product, whether it's a digital product, a membership, or anything else. So that's good knowing that you don't have to put too much effort into creating any type of new product individually. Once again, if you wanna create a landing page for that, you can, but let's just say you wanted to skip it this time. Just like that, you can publish and you're gonna have your membership up and running when it comes to selling it. Of course, editing it around can be a little bit different, so allow me to show you that. All right, and so this is gonna be on the inside of the membership, what it looks like when you're going to be creating it. Now, in my opinion, it almost looks like a Facebook feed or maybe like a social media feed, as you can see here. When you go to create a post, it's gonna be very straightforward. So this could be, say, an introduction. You can have video here, you can have text, you can have an audio, any type of file, whatever it's going to be. Let's say you want to upload or embed a video. All right, so I'm gonna put a YouTube video there that I created, I'm gonna save it there. There's an example of one I did. And of course, if you want to add some text as well, enjoy this video. This is just an example. I wouldn't start off in a, a membership with an introduction of a random review video, but that would be an example if you wanted to add that. Everything else is gonna be self-explanatory. You wanna add more text, image, files, audio, so on and so forth. You can schedule immediately, you can schedule at a specific time. If you want comments, you can turn them on or off. And of course, you're probably gonna to wanna to do members only so that anyone can see this who purchases from you and click on publish. All right, and so that's gonna be what it looks like upon creating it. Like I said, I think it looks almost like a Facebook post. So if you click on play right here, this is gonna be what it looks like when you are previewing it as a member. So if you click on it here specifically, it's gonna pop up. And in my opinion, a little bit different towards maybe a lot of the other memberships. And the process is gonna be the same. Anytime you wanna create a post, you can do the same thing. And that's ultimately what your membership sites are going to be looking like. I don't think that their membership area is gonna be competing with any of the top dogs in the membership software arena. Nevertheless, it is nice to have, given the fact you can sell memberships, digital products, and a plethora of other options, as shown previously. And yes, Pensite does come with the ability to utilize email marketing as well. Very straightforward. Let's go to email form right here. Let's just say this is going to be subscribing to a newsletter. I'm not going to go through and write all this in. I'm just going to say... All right, subscribe to my newsletter because you need to. Let's say you don't want to collect the name. And let's say upon doing so, they can go to all communications and click on add an email form. Now, here's the beautiful thing. Pensite makes it very easy to utilize email automation so that anytime someone signs up for this specifically, you can also start sending them emails. Let's go on over to the marketing section. So within the marketing features, you can have your own affiliate program. You can send email broadcasts, but let's focus on email automations right here. All right, so all we need to do here is give our automation a name and set up a trigger. So let's click on trigger, add a trigger, and then right here, this is gonna be based upon someone signing up to our form or our form submit. We already did one for our buyers, so this is gonna be for subscribers. We can do our form. This was gonna be the subscribe one and click on done. Now what we can do is schedule an email. All right, so it's pretty straightforward adding your subject line, your preview, your from and reply email. And aside from that, you can choose an email template. There's not many to choose from. In fact, as you can see here, there's gonna be four or just simply start without one. Let's say I wanted to go with the simple email. Looks good, let's customize it. And very straightforward here, probably don't need to spend too much time about how to write an email here, what's gonna be going on, but this would be the first email where everything is going to be oh so similar to pretty much any other platform you've used, whether it's gonna be WordPress or any website builder or just email marketing platform. You know, highlight the text to create a link, you can bold it, you can add headers and so on and so forth. That's pretty straightforward. Nothing here is going to, you know, be mind blowing or incredibly new. You can add images, buttons, clickable image and text, very similar to when you were creating a member site. Nevertheless, they do make it easy for you to get up and running with your emails as well. So that's something I can definitely respect. And upon creating your email, you can choose when you want it to be sent out. Now, this is something I haven't seen before. Normally, I can always do say immediately, but it says five minutes is a minimum delay. I've never personally seen that before, so I guess five would be the minimum. Technically, whenever someone signs up for a newsletter or wants to get a free gift from me, I want them getting it immediately as possible. Because if they go to their inbox and they go like three minutes later and it's still not there, they might be like, hey, where is it? You might get an email. Like I you know, requested this, I didn't get it. I've never seen that before, but that's the way it's going to be with this. So five minutes would be the earliest, but you can change around the delay if you need it to be any longer. In fact, what you can do to kind of counter that whenever they opt in, say like, thank you so much, 
give it five minutes and you will get a free gift or your first email from me, something like that. Just wanted to bring that up because I've personally never seen that before and done. Last but not least is going to be save and publish. And of course, if you want to continue on with this process, you can always add a new email that can be maybe a day later or the next one, two days later. But that's how you can actually create an email automation using Pensite. Last but not least, you would just click on save and publish. All right, so we've gone through a lot of the popular features that Pensite has to offer. Let's take a look at their pricing plans, which overall, in my opinion, are really good. There's actually not a huge difference between Pro and Biz, in my opinion, based on what they're showing here, but I will talk about that very quickly. So as you can see, Pro is gonna be $29 a month, Biz is gonna be 99 a month. Keep in mind, this can always change as prices do fluctuate over time. Transaction fees are going to be zero, but with Stripe, there is 3%. And as you can see, it's pretty much just going to be check marks going across the board on both sides until you get to the bottom. But like a lot of different products that you can create, which is fantastic. Multiple ways of getting people to pay you, which is great as well, along with accelerated payouts, which is nice, right? Marketing, we talked about uh, automations. You can do broadcasts as well. Pretty much going to be the same way, creating an email. You can do upsell funnels. We talked about that as well as having your own affiliate program. Uh, when it comes to a page, plenty of things that come along with that video calls and scheduling. I think this is really where Pensite stands out against a lot of the competitors. They really do have a plethora of features when it comes to just video calls and scheduling as it is there. And if you scroll down a few more things, but I do wanna mention at the bottom, this is gonna be the biggest difference right here when it comes to pro and biz. So if you are looking to scale, some of these are gonna be very helpful. As you can see, going with biz, you get onboarding with dedicated sales and marketing expert, free migration of your courses, so if you're moving from somewhere else to Penn site, that can be very helpful. Bi-weekly call with a dedicated growth manager, one-on-one -on -one support in building your products, and one-on-one -on -one marketing review. So just by paying 99 a month, if you're already scaling or maybe moving from somewhere else to Penn site, this can really help you out, especially for the fact you're getting a lot of support and a lot of reviews and onboarding and just overall dedicated help to help you really scale your business. All right, so you've seen my pen site review and demo. What's gonna be the final verdict on pen site itself? So on the plus side, setting it up is smoother than a fresh jar of peanut butter. Super simple and definitely intuitive. Plus, it packs way more features than your average Lincoln Bio tool, letting you offer one-on-one -on -one sessions, group events, group programs, and even video Q&A. Oh, and the price, an absolute steal for what you're getting. Now on the flip side, their website and landing page templates are a bit plain, but not a deal breaker for me personally. But if you're looking for something flashy, you might feel a little underwhelmed in that department. The membership section, it's all right. It won't be dethroning the big players in the course or membership space anytime soon, but it definitely gets the job done. If you're looking for a platform that offers way more than just another link in your bio at a price that won't make your wallet cry, Pensite is definitely worth checking out and you can click the link in the description to try them for free. And that's going to conclude my pen site review. I hope to help you out when it comes to making a decision for you in your online business. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.